Why did Sony and PlayStation purchase Bungie for $3.6 billion? What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to go over this and tell you guys what this means for the future of gaming. If you guys do like this video, please make sure to hit a like, comment down below, give me your honest opinions. I'm going to give you the rundown of everything we know so far and also some pretty interesting information. So please watch until the entire end and give me your opinions. And if I left anything out, definitely let me know in those comments down below. But hopefully we'll go over everything here today. What does this mean for the future of Bungie? Well, they're still going to operate independently according to Sony and PlayStation. And according to Sony, they both have released statements saying that Bungie is still going to remain operating independently. And if you guys remember, Bungie was actually um, part of Activision Blizzard. They split... Um, because Bungie wanted to operate independently and Activision had a heavy hand on B Bungie. Um, so that's the reason why they split. And, you know, if we look back even further, Bungie was a uh, part of Microsoft Studios way back in the day. In fact, Bungie was one of the main reasons a lot of people say uh, the Xbox was so successful and the, the launch of the Xbox, the original one, was uh, received so well is because of Bungie's hand in it. And as many of you guys do know or maybe don't know, Bungie is the original creator of Halo. And ironically, as many of you guys also know, maybe you don't, a Xbox actually uh, purchased Activision. And that was big. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that because that was huge. That was in the mainstream media for a very long time. Uh, Microsoft and Xbox purchasing, um, you know, Activision, that was a big deal. Um, but I mentioned that as well because Activision actually owns the rights to Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot was PlayStation 1. It was PlayStation 1. That was one of the games everybody went to and everybody played on the PlayStation 1 was Crash Bandicoot. If you think about old school PlayStation and you think about characters, you're probably going to think about Crash Bandicoot the same way you think about uh, with Xbox Halo. You know, it goes hand in hand. And how crazy is it that PlayStation now owns Bungie, uh, the original creators of Halo, and Xbox and Microsoft own, you know, Activision, which also owns the rights to <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. It's it's a crazy world that we're living in. So, according to Sony and PlayStation, they are still going to be oper operating independently. Um, they're going to give them free reigns. We're going to have to wait and see how all of this plays out. The good news as well is that Sony did say that... Um, Bungie games are not going to be restricted to just PlayStation. It's going to be for gamers around the world, no matter what you're playing on. So, uh, again, only time will tell how much that holds true. But if Sony and PlayStation are saying that right off the bat, then I, you know, I got to take their word for it. Now, one thing that I'm not sure if I want to take their word for or anybody else's word is that this is just a coincidence. You know, I do believe that, obviously, a $3.6 billion purchase doesn't happen overnight. Doesn't happen just because, you know, Xbox purchased Activision, you know, and Sony's got to do something to respond. It doesn't happen overnight, and a lot of people are kind of missing that. But at the same time, if you circle back, you know, there are so many industry insiders and there's a lot of people that work for playstation that are friends with people that work at microsoft and xbox um you know there are friends and there are whispers there are rumors that go around and you know whether the deal with uh sony uh you know purchasing bungie was locked in way before the Activision deal with Microsoft, you know, we don't, we're, we're not going to know, um, you know, who thought of what first, but obviously both companies knew something was going on, you know, 
you have Sony acquiring all these different uh, game studios. Then you have Microsoft acquiring all these different game studios. You know, I do believe that, uh, you know, it didn't happen overnight. And I think that's what a lot of people are missing uh, because that's a lot of money. Uh, you know, the talks have been probably happening for about a year or so, maybe even more. But um, did Sony know that, uh, you know, Xbox could potentially purchase a big, you know, gaming company like Activision? Most likely. And did Microsoft and Xbox know that Sony is going to buy up a bunch of studios? Buy up Bungie? Probably so as well. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, what is great is that the gaming community is thriving, that game companies are thriving. Not only are they thriving, they're competing for our attention. And that's one thing that I've said for a very long time is that I want these companies to fight for our attention. Console wars are dumb. They're stupid. You know, arguing with uh, fellow gamers on what's better it's personal preference it's personal choice it's up to you like if if you are watching this video and you play on pc or you play on xbox it's your personal choice it's completely up to you i prefer playstation i'm not gonna fight you over it i'm not gonna argue over what's better console wars across the board are dumb but companies competing for attention that just makes things better for gamers around the world when I when I say that competition makes things better competition breeds a better product I want a better gaming experience that I had last year don't you don't you want more from these companies you know and the the way that we're gonna get it is them going head-to-head -head like they are and competing for our attention you know good on Sony and PlayStation for um, you know, keeping Bungie, uh, you know, independent, um, because that's one issue and that's one problem that Bungie had in the past was Activision was a little bit too controlling and they didn't have free reigns and it showed when Bungie became independent, Destiny 2 was a lot better for a lot more players. More people started playing Destiny 2 after the split between Activision and Bungie. Not saying that Destiny 2 is perfect because it's not, but you can notice a difference in the, the community, the Destiny community, because that's the game that they have out right now. But either way, I'm really excited to see what Sony and PlayStation brings to the table. PlayStation Studios, um, you know, with Bungie, Bungie is an amazing studio, um, and maybe this deal just means more funding for Bungie to be able to produce, you know, other games. Maybe a Destiny 3. Are we going to get a Destiny 3? Um, what is that going to look like? What else is Bungie going to bring to the table? That's what I'm curious about. That's what I want to know, and that's what I'm so pumped about. Same thing with uh, Microsoft in Activision. You know, what are they going to do? Are some of the games going to be playable on the PlayStation, uh, you know, consoles? Most likely. Uh, you know, Xbox stated at the very beginning of the launch that they wanted to um, be able to have players be have access to their games on multiple platforms. And I don't know if you remember a video I made a long time ago, but, you know... Um, Activision, not Activision, excuse me, Microsoft's goal was, uh, you know, you know, the rumor was that their goal was to be on PlayStation, you know, their games to be on PlayStation, uh, the games pass to be on PlayStation, the games pass to be on Nintendo. Now, you know, that could be their goal. That could be a rumor that was going around for quite some time. Um, and it, honestly will have to be up to the companies to decide whether or not they want to do that but at the end of the day you know all of this news and all of these different changes that are going on only makes things better in my personal opinion especially if sony and playstation are going to uh you know take a step back and from what i see you know only time will tell but from what i see and from what i can gather 
is that Sony and PlayStation are going to take a step back and be more of uh, funding for Bungie rather than uh, the hand over the top of them completely controlling every step they do. Um, with their statement saying that they're going to be let Bungie operate independently, uh, that's good news for us too because the Destiny 2 players, uh, you know, saw a noticeable difference. Uh, the Destiny 2 community is still not completely happy. Um, not everybody's happy with how Destiny 2 is right now, but it's a heck of a lot better than it was before. And again, I'm just excited to see what else uh, Bungie brings to the table. Destiny 3, another game that we haven't even experienced yet let me know your guys thoughts and opinions about this in those those comments down below please make sure to hit a like if you guys are new please subscribe with those bell notifications turned on if you watched up until the end comment down below why did playstation purchase bungie or you could put why did playstation buy bungie Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys are freaking awesome.